Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. We are back with another video and today we are talking about what are Windows 10 bloatwares and how to remove them. So, let's start. When you buy a new Windows PC, you expect it to be clean and lean. Starting off fast and speeding through your work as quickly as you need it to. If that were only the case, the truth is most Windows PCs start off slower than they should be, clogged with unnecessary preloaded software, known as bloatware, or a number of less complementary terms. This software comes in many different forms. Most bloatware is not dangerous but it can slow down your system and take up space on your hard drive. On average, the PC can start up 104% faster, shut down 35% faster and have 28 minutes more battery life than the same PC with bloatware. How to remove bloatware from Windows 10 the easiest way to remove bloatware from Windows 10 is using the script Windows 10 Deep Bloater by Signix. Honestly speaking, I have known about this tool for quite some time now, but I recently got to see it in action when my PC slowed down to the limit where it took 15 minutes to load all the apps after booting. That was the point where my patience broke and I got rid of all the bloatware apps on my Windows PC. Open up Chrome and Google for Windows 10 the bloater or simply navigate to The project's README provides all the details and description on how to get it working and also what the script's intended purpose is. It doesn't delete all the personal files and folders stored on your computer. You can read about it on the page. Download the script from the page as a GIF file on your desktop for simplicity of usage. There are different methods of running the PowerShell script and I will be going with the first one. I will extract the file onto the desktop and copy the absolute path to the folder from its properties. Run a PowerShell as an administrator and it is important to do so. I will change my working directory to the recently extracted folder, pasting the previously copied absolute path and adding to it. I will copy and paste the command to set the execution policy to unrestricted and then I will run the GUI version of the script for simplicity. There is a whole lot of optional changes here. To disable Cortana, set Edge PDF Takeover, uninstall OneDrive, which I will do first. Also, 
disable telemetry task, unnecessary scheduled tasks in Windows 10. The script takes some time and seems to freeze, but it actually is working in the background. And sometimes you just need to hit a couple of enters on the power cell as I figured out. Remove all the bloatware registry as well and fast forwarding a couple of seconds. Now, for the actual bloatwares, you can either customize the list of bloatwares you want to remove or follow up with the recommended list of bloatwares as I will do. But I will show you the list you can customize. These are all the bloatwares that the script has the potential to remove and you can check uncheck the items. But have a look around and see how much bloat a window sips with. Actually, you need to save the customized list, so I will check again and save. But I will remove all bloatwares anyway, so check the power cell and watch as bloatware gets removed. I will quickly restart my PC and check some apps on the start menu. Without the bloatware removal, you have tons of Xbox apps, but I only have the settings. I didn't remove camera, calculator, paint as I chose the default bloatware removal. I don't have the 3D Builder app and yeah. That's how I clean up every Windows 10 PC after my friends and family tell that they are having a performance issue.